Welcome to this video on Keysight's vPro software. Today we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to communicate with your instruments using vPro's direct I.O. features. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open a brand new V program, and we need to add an instrument to our program. We do that using V's instrument manager. If the instrument manager is not open, we can access it from the toolbar or from the I.O. drop-down menu. To add an instrument, we can click on the Find Instruments button, which will go out and find all of the instruments connected to your system, or we can manually add an instrument, and that's what we're going to do today. Here you can choose the interface type. Today I have a DMM connected via GPIB, so we'll choose GPIB and select OK. Now when we get our properties window, we can give our instrument a name, and we can specify either a visa alias or a visa address. I have the Keysight IO library suite installed, so I'm going to open the connection expert and grab my visa address. Here on my GPIB interface, I have one instrument, a 34461A DMM, and I'm going to grab the visa address, just copy that, and paste it into this properties window here. I click OK. I now have an instrument added to my program. I can create a direct I.O. object by right-clicking or by choosing the icon above. I'm going to place my direct I.O. object down in the workspace. We can now add transactions to this object. Transactions could be a read operation or a write operation. The first thing we're going to add is a write operation. And we're going to write a simple command out to the instrument to retrieve its identification string. Now that I've added the write transaction to send out the command, I'm going to add a second transaction, and this time it's going to be a read, and we're going to choose a string format. Now when we get our data back, we're going to want to display it, so I'm just going to use an alphanumeric. and wire that up to the output of our direct I.O. object. Now if we run our program, we were able to send out a simple command and then read back the response from the instrument. You can have multiple transactions in a single direct I.O. object, or you can add multiple direct I.O. objects throughout your program. And that's how easy it is to use direct I.O. in vPro. For more information on vPro, please visit www.keysite.com. Thanks.